your WLKY weather with meteorologist Mo Rose. All right, so we are taking a look high above downtown from Chopper HD. Very nice, a lot of, a lot of cars out there on the road, but it looks like everyone's getting along pretty nicely, so no accidents there. Traffic is in good shape. The weather is heating up. We are still dry over downtown. It is a little hazy, though, from Chopper HD looking at downtown and the Yum Center. Now, I do want to point out that there's a few clouds in the sky over downtown. Temperatures, they're warming quickly, though. Take a look. We're at 82, and it already feels like 86 degrees. So our dew points are climbing. Over the weekend, we were feeling much less humid. So this number gets over 70, and it starts to feel a little sweaty out there. And over the next 12 hours, it's just going to continue to go up, both the temperature and that feels like temperature. We're going to be around 89 degrees by 2. By 4 o'clock, our high for the day, 90, and that's likely going to be feeling like 94, 95 at times. Now, we are going to be watching for a few scattered showers and thunderstorms. And especially as we get later in the afternoon, all of that heat is just going to fuel those storms. So we'll watch for that. Temperatures will also take a drop there into the mid 80s, especially if we get some rain over the airport. We'll also notice that number tank. And as we get later in the night, the sun goes down and numbers continue to fall. 10 o'clock, we're at 76 degrees and we're also losing a lot of that instability. So we're also going to see these numbers fall, our rain and storm chances. Just know some of those storms we do get later on today, could be on the strong side. At the moment, we do have a couple of showers and heavier downpours. We now have a thunderstorm here. This is just north of Hodgenville. A couple of lightning strikes there, and I did see some small hail in a couple of these cores at this point. I don't have any sizes on there, but I did see a little indication that there could be some very small hail with this thunderstorm here. We got another one just south along I-65, south of E-Town, pushing in from Hardin County down into Hart County. And this is all from a boundary that's drifting across our region today. And it's got just enough energy to fire off some showers and storms later on. So we'll watch for that in the future cast, especially along uh, early evening into the late evening. We could have some stronger storms, some wind gusts, some small hail, and a lot of lightning uh, because of all of this heat. But it dies away later on tonight. Tomorrow morning, we'll have drier skies. It'll still be a little on the warm side, but we'll have at least a lot of sunshine. And then later in the day, we might have some of those pop-up showers and storms. It's a lot less coverage than we have today. It's still going to be more isolated in nature and really hardly seeing much out there uh, as far as the sh uh, shower and storm activity goes. For tomorrow, clouds and sun. 91. So a little warmer than today, but less shower and storm activity. Looking ahead in that 70 forecast, the heat just keeps on increasing. 92 on Wednesday. We're holding on to the chance for those isolated showers and storms pretty much all the way through the first half of the weekend. But look at that high on Friday. We are going to be sweating it out in 97 is going to be feeling like triple digits because of that humidity. We finally dial it back a little bit by Sunday, and then we're back to more normal temperatures by this time next week. But man, it, at least it's not the heat that Death Valley has, but yowza, it is hot.